After over 100 years after French colonizers looted treasures from an African kingdom, some of those items are finally home today in Benin. 26 pieces taken from the Dahomey Kingdom in what's now southern Benin were formally sent on their way yesterday by the French President Emmanuel Macron. And a short while ago today, they've arrived in Benin in the city of Cotonou, where a large crowd has been waiting for them. Well, also there is our reporter Clovis Casali. He's been soaking up the atmosphere for a few days now. Clovis, tell us what's happening at the moment. Well, there's a ceremony underway here at the presidential palace. Uh, the uh, Benin president, uh, Patrice Talon, has just arrived. And as you can see uh, behind me, it's a moment of silence. He's just come to greet uh, some of the most important officials. Here you have around 200 guests. And just behind me, uh, on those seats uh, behind, well, you have uh, the kings of uh, the provinces here in Benin. Um, to be more accurate, they are the uh, kings of the kingdom that used to make up what is now uh, the uh, territory, the country of Benin. It's a very important day today for uh, the uh, president, Patrice Talon. It's a day of victory very much for him as he is here with uh, the 26 artefacts uh, taken back who have returned now from France. He managed to negotiate that with uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron and now he's got on his uh, soil the 26 artefacts, notably a royal throne, but also uh, beautiful carved um, doors of the former palace in the town of Abomey where 130 years ago, while well, French uh, forces stormed in, looted the area and stole those very precious and highly symbolic uh, pieces of art. They're now in Benin. Uh, the ceremony is underway. The artefacts will soon arrive at the presidential palace and this will be followed uh, by several festivities, notably some traditional dances with a group of women who have arrived from Abome, that place I was just telling you about. So, Clovis, this is the formal ceremony that you're at right now, attended by the president. But I know you've also been out in the streets in the past few hours talking to people about how they feel about the fact these items have finally returned uh, to Benin soil. What have you been hearing? Indeed, on the road between we are very the happy about what's happening president. in our country today. It's what we've been waiting for for ages, the restitution of our treasures. This makes the men and women of Benin so happy. We are especially grateful to our president, Patrice Talon, for all that he has done. OK. Clovis Casali there. We just heard a little bit of the atmosphere, people you've been sp speaking to a short while ago. It sounds like... Lots of excitement where you are in Cotonou. Indeed, you had hundreds, if not thousands, of people on the road gathered on that road between the airport and the presidential palace. We went to talk to them, of course, and they told us how proud they are to have these artefacts uh, back. They hope many more will be returning very soon because uh, Benin has requested some 5,000 artefacts currently in France. And they are hoping also that other former colonial powers will uh, return uh, pieces of art. Uh, these pieces of art stolen during colonial times, scattered all around the world world, uh, in museums everywhere. And of course, this uh, first large-scale act of restitution from France to Africa, well, basically, it's sending a shockwave, uh, one could say, in the uh, museum world, because many museums have got pieces of art that they don't necessarily want to give back uh, to African nations. So this is a very uh, symbolic uh, day. And the people we spoke to, many were telling us, especially young uh, people from Benin, uh, telling us that they saw pictures of these objects in their school books when they were in primary uh, schools and that finally they'd be able to soon be able to uh, see these objects of uh, huge historical value, of course, to Benin, for Benin uh, with their own eyes and they're very much looking forward uh, to for that moment. You can see a bit of excitement around me simply because you've got uh, several trucks just on my left here uh, with... Um, these artefacts, they're about to enter the uh, courtyard, the gardens, should I say, of the uh, presidential palace. So excitement mounting outside uh, in the uh, earlier today and now in the presidential palace with all these officials just behind me. 
uh, the representatives of the various kingdoms of uh, Benin here and of course the president Patrice Talon here also. So the item's just arriving now where you are at the presidential palace, Clovis, but when is it that uh, ordinary people in Benin are going to be able to actually have a look at them for themselves? Well, everyone in Benin will have to be patient and wait for several weeks, if not several months. Uh, these artefacts, these 26 uh, pieces of art, are currently in these uh, trucks, in boxes sealed, and they will stay this way in a uh, special room here at the presidential palace. Why? Because for the past 130 years, they've been in France. Very different temperatures, very different level of humidity. So in order for these uh, valuable pieces of art not to be damaged, well, they need to be protected. They, it needs to be uh, to take time before they can uh, come out of these boxes and be here in Benin with a very different, very high level of humidity, much warmer uh, temperatures. So you've got experts working hard on this issue to make sure that these uh, pieces, often in, uh, in wood and very old, of course, are not damaged. So uh, for a few weeks, they'll be here, two to three weeks in the presidential uh, palace, and then they will be sent to uh, Ouida, a town uh, west of uh, Cotonou, uh, where there is a museum, where they'll be on display. And then they will be transferred later on uh, in the coming years to a special museum in Abome. Um, and this museum in Abome is currently being built with, of course, funds from Benin, but also from the French Agency for De Development that's allocated 35 million euros. 10 million euros going straight to Benin um, grants and then 25 million euros of loans. Clovis Casali for us there at that ceremony in Cotonou, Benin. Thank you very much indeed.